Hey, what's up guys? This is Cody Black coming back at you at the homestead today, doing something a little different. If you remember the last time that, uh, I don't know, I showed you a little homesteading video. The little pool and pro here, 50 CC, <sighs> wasn't doing it for me. I worked about six hours, no kidding, trying to get this thing running again, trying to get it just to crank old fuel probably old ethanol fuel and there's a little bit of water a little condensation in there took it out dumped all that gas out took the uh, spark plug out sanded that down gapped it put it back in there i did a, i did a lot of things and then finally i said well let me just take the carburetor apart took the carburetor apart put it back together cleaned it put it back together then i got it to crank but i could not get it to idle so I went to a local chainsaw shop around here and uh, where I live and and talked to them a little bit what that would look like to get it get it fixed right so the next thing I know he's telling me hey this is going to be a, at least a hundred and fifty dollar job and this hundred and fifty dollar job includes us just totally replacing the carburetor because we don't work on carburetors anymore which is fine I understand that um, so it left me kind of without a chainsaw because it would take them a while to get the part in. They would have to fix the chainsaw and I still have a tree in my yard. And in fact, now I have multiple trees after the micro burst and then the power company coming through and cutting down some trees, which I'm sure they'll come back and get some of them, but, uh, I, I may just go ahead and cut what they did cut the big ones down and have firewood. Uh, to sail and to use myself as we camp and uh, other various uh, reasons. I got friends who, who might burn and we're thinking about burning ourselves, putting maybe a, um, uh, what am I trying to say? Not a fireplace, but like a, like a stove in or something like that in the house. So we're kicking around that idea. So I could go ahead and have some stuff corded up, cut up, stacked and just drying for a while. But so it left me kind of in a dilemma, right? So I went ahead and said, hey, what does a carburetor cost? They told me it was about 55 bucks. I said, well, let's go ahead and order that. So I ordered a carburetor. It should be coming um, in the next few days. They'll call me. But then I'm still left without a chainsaw. I, I have a few free days in the week that I can do things. And so what's the thing for me to do? Well, I went to Lowe's. I got a credit with Lowe's. And I bought this daddy -o right here. It might be backwards for you, but it's the Husqvarna 545 Professional Mark II. <laughs> They're on sale, man. I couldn't resist. Couldn't resist, right? I got the Mark II for the price that it would cost me to buy the 440. And I said, well, I might as well. What I also did in the way of safety, you know, I talked about PPE, safety glasses last time. I got the pants. It's gonna show up backwards for you, but you get the gist here. I got the pants, I got the chaps. So we're gonna try the chaps out. I've never really used the chaps before. So I recommend highly that you use chaps when you're using a chainsaw because these chaps, if the chain ever was to slip off of the log or whatever that you're trying to cut and it hits you in the thigh. Well, I had a friend that did, it did that too and it took him a year and a half to recover from that. Thankfully it didn't hit any main arteries and he's still with us major scar major major uh i'm assuming surgery lots and lots of stitches and uh but he recovered fully but i don't want to go through that so i might as well spend 110 dollars on some chaps and take care of that in case it ever does happen i'm sure it's still nicky pretty good because it's running at a very high rpm i think this is a 50 cc chainsaw and some of the reviews are good it says it cuts like hot butter some of them says it's garbage avoid for the price point, I figured I'd give it a try. Um, but we'll see what's going on here. So this is my first attempt with this 545 Professional Chainsaw Mark II in the Husqvarna brand. So still got the treaty cut up. I'll take you along with me and we'll see, see how it goes. So what do we have here in this little goodie bag? Well, I took this off, right? Um, inside of here is a 
some synthetic oil, two stroke oil filter. Got us some tools, spark plug. Got the Phillips head on the end there. It's got the little star Allen wrench deal. Got our fuel and oil bar oil and the destructions. Oh, I destructed the destructions. I was told at the store that if I bought this, fuel it'll extend the warranty for five years so i got to register all that i'm not sure how to do all that i haven't really looked into all of it yet but here's all the paperwork on it and um so here we go yeah all right so let's get in this thing a little better this is how it was hanging in the uh, store Take this guy off. Might be a neat little apparatus to keep later on. I don't know. Ooh, I'll tell you. I will say this about it. It's light. This professional saw is a lot lighter than the pooling over there, the pulling or whatever you want to call it, pooling pro. And um, I'm pretty, I'm pretty satisfied with that, I gotta say. So we gotta fill all this up here. Got these little stoppers. they're marked maybe no difference that's pretty cool Just like that right there. I just got generic bar oil. But I'm gonna be using the fuel that they recommend. This keeps the warranty, it keeps everything, you know, high, high octane ethanol, free fuel. And that's the thing that really will mess up these small engines. I used to work on small engines uh, one time previously in my life and uh, It'll scar up the pistons inside. It will gum up the carburetor. So it just introduces a lot of sediment and a lot of issues. So you wanna make sure you use ethanol free. And this already comes pre-mixed. So pre-mix 50 to one. You can't ask for anything better than that. It's a little, it's a little expensive. So I went ahead and got, I don't know, how many gallons is that? So I got almost seven liters worth of this stuff. And so We'll see how it goes, but it's kind of it's kind of what we're looking at here. Wee. Oh, of course, of course I do that. Let me get uh, let me get something here. So let's pop this guy back on here, just like so. Push this in, bam. Clips right back on. Bob's your uncle, as I say. Actually, before I do that, put any oil fill or fuel in it. I guess this is how you do this here. A little quick. There's three of those. Okay, so there's already an air filter in there. So this is just uh, this is just an extra for you, which is really neat. So that's cool.
but there's all the internals right there popped right off you got your air filter you got your uh, pump bulb spark plug looks really good and i really like how this is easy to clip off like that that's a cool feature very professional oh the power of the edit right you didn't see me spill anything not very much in there as i said it's already pre-mixed this is and it feels like maybe i used one third of that can possibly maybe less let's tighten this down goes flush like that that's really neat i like that ace hardware borrow i'm sure husqvarna is probably having a fit saying i should probably use their bar oil but I'm not just like us here. Good deal. All right, now let's start it. All right, so what does the destructions tell us to do? Well, the destructions tell us to do this to get started. You wanna add the bar chain oil. You wanna take it out of the package, of course. We've already done all that. Add the oil, add the pre-mixed fuel and oil. It's a two cycle engine. From a cold start, you wanna push this bar forward. Bam, already did that. Pull the start stop switch A out and up. And that'll set the choke position. So that's this little deal right here. Pull it out and up. That's the choke position. All right. I think you push all the way down to stop as you're as you're using it. All right. You want to press the air bubble six times. So there's the fuel bubble. One, two, three, four five six and then put the product on the ground put your left hand on the front handle pull your right foot to the foot grip and the rear handle right here and you want to pull the rope slowly until you feel some resistance and then pull this bad boy on through we're not going to do it like that So let's try what we couldn't do last time. This time, earplugs in. Got my magnet safety glasses. Got my gloves, and I got my brand new professional grade Hashkevane. Let's get it. Oh, and uh, let's not forget the chaps. Check out these bad boys. Woo! Now. I can't hear myself, so I think I'm screaming. I paid a pretty pretty for these guys, right? Ooh. Got the high vis Husqvarna Aranjo. Look at that. Ready for some bull riding. You can even let it out for these petite extra large like myself. <laughs> Got the buckles. Looks like you slide your legs back on in now. Very heavy duty, very heavy at the bottom. Keeps it from riding up, I like that. But uh, this fabric is just in case you slide off of some whatever you're cutting and the bar hits this, the chain will separate these fibers and these fibers will wrap around that bar is my understanding and it'll stop the bar from spinning. So it'll choke, uh, choke your chainsaw down, I, I think. So, I mean, essential, right? Essential to have. I'm not cutting anything overhead today, uh, so I'm not going to wear my uh, 
uh, hard hat. And um, so we're just gonna move on with that. Woo, I'm excited. Look, I'm a kid in a candy store. If there's one thing dudes like, it's, it's new gear, it's new equipment, it's new tools. Yeah. In the words of Tim Allen on Tool Time, oh, 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 oh. But let's get it. So how did this guy perform? I think phenomenally. Didn't want to bog down. I know chain, it's got a lot to do with it. Chain's brand new, just got it today, like I said. But it never wanted to bog down. It didn't seem like it was hurting or trying to struggle to get through any of the rounds there. So it was very easy. So I probably got this done in 30, 45 minutes. The reason it took me so long, I don't know if you could tell, but there was poison sumac or poison oak or something all over this thing and it just kind of unwound it so i could be in for a hospital visit for some reason those that, that that stuff gets me a little bit broke out never really used to when i was a kid i could just run right through the stuff it didn't bother me but uh, actually swing on the vines and stuff but here lately as i've gotten older it seems like it's gotten a little it got me a little worse each time so i tried to be very cautious and unwind the thing down the trunk as i went but I'm sure I got some of the sap and stuff all over me. So we'll see how that goes. If you don't hear from me, it's probably because of that. But anyway, I'm really impressed with this Husqvarna. And I think it's a good purchase. The Husqvarna 545. And uh, I think you should probably give it a try. This is the professional, professional Mark II. So good job, Husqvarna. We'll see how it goes. I'll give you updates as things go on, but I'm very impressed. <laughs> 